my most amazing artists. I hope you are having an awesome day today. Welcome to week two of our Symmetrical Beatles. Last week we learned a lot of fun facts about beetles, like there are over 300,000 species of beetles in the world. They have a hard outer shell to protect their bodies and their four wings, and their teeth are so sharp that they can cut through wood. So beetles are pretty cool creatures. And we did something called a monoprint. We drew half of our beetle on one side, and then we painted black paint, just regular black paint, we folded it in half, and printed those lines and shapes on the other side of our paper. So now we have a beautiful symmetrical beetle. When I say something is symmetrical, I mean it is the same on both sides, or almost the same. I do have some white spaces over here where I printed, and that is totally normal with printmaking. Now this week we are actually going to get to add some really fun, bright, colors to our beetle using watercolor paint. This is actually liquid watercolor. With regular watercolor, you usually have to add water to it uh, with your paintbrush to wake up those paints because they're pretty dry, so you have to add water to them to get them to work. But with liquid watercolors, it's already in a liquid form, so we don't really have to add water. The reason why I do have some water is because whenever we switch our colors of paint, we need to wash our paintbrush in the bottom of our water cup by drawing an X, and that way we will not mix our paints together inside of our paint cups. Now one thing about our colors is that we are sharing these with our table, so make sure you are being kind and waiting your turn, being a good friend, and showing patience while painting today. So if someone is using a color that you want to use, just wait your turn and wait until they're done, and then you can use it. Okay, and I also have a messy mat under my work so I don't get any mess on my table. That is everything I'm going to be using today, so let's go ahead and start painting our beetle. As you know, beetles come in all different shapes and sizes and colors, and you can choose any colors out of these that Miss M has given you today to paint your beetle. I don't think it's a good idea to paint your beetle just one color. I think we should use a good mix of some of these colors over here. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take my beautiful ballerina paintbrush on her tippy toes. Do not squish her tippy toes because that's not very nice. So while you're using your paintbrush, make sure you are being gentle. And I'm just gonna start with pink because that's my favorite color and I want there to be some pink in my beetle. And I'm just gonna dip my paintbrush in there and then I'm gonna start painting it on my paper. And it's a beautiful, bright pink color. It's pretty light right now, so I'm just gonna start adding some more paint to darken it up a little bit. Maybe you want your colors to be light, like this is, or maybe you want them to be a little bit darker color, so then you just add more paint. Now we have to be careful around the black paint that we made last week, because it is tempera paint, that means it is washable. So if we get too much water in this black paint that we added last time, then that black paint is going to start bleeding into our beautiful bright colors. So just be mindful of that today. Try not to get any water on the black areas. But if that does happen, you might notice some black um, paint from last week seeping into your colors. So just try to be careful while you're painting today not to get any water on the black part. And where I folded my paper, this paint is wanting to go right towards the middle. It's trying to fall right towards the center and that's fine. I think I actually want to add another color inside of that section, it's not just pink. Maybe I can mix a color into the pink. So I'm going to draw an X in the bottom of my water cup because I'm getting a new color. And I want to try to add some orange and see what that looks like. <gasps> Ooh, that looks really pretty. So I can just dot some orange in there and those colors will start to mix. What's really cool about watercolor is that the colors mix by themselves. All you have to do is put two colors on top of each other and then those colors will start to mix on their own. So I'm very happy with that section and I can't wait to see what it looks like when it's dry. So I'm gonna move on to my next section and I'm gonna grab a new color. So I'm gonna draw an X in the bottom of my water cup and I think I wanna do some cool colors. So let me grab some green and I think I'll paint this section green being very careful not to get any water on the black parts, only putting it inside of these spaces. Let's see what happens when I add blue into my green. So let me grab a little bit of blue and I'll just dot a few 
touches of blue here and there. Remember, watercolors mix on their own, so we don't have to try to mix them. We'll just put different colors on top of each other, and look, they're starting to mix, and it looks so cool. So I am going to paint each of these sections a different color, trying to mix my colors too to see what can happen. I think it'd be really interesting if you try to mix different colors on your beetle too, but you don't have to if you don't want to. And while I do this, I'm gonna be super duper careful not to get any water on the black paint that I made last week because I don't want that to bleed into my beautiful bright colors. And don't forget, whenever you are switching your colors, you need to draw one X in the bottom of your water cup. And I am also going to treat my beautiful paintbrush like a graceful ballerina. And I'm not going to squish her tippy toes as I'm painting. So I'm gonna go ahead and speed this up because I think you guys are catching on. And I'll be right back to show you what my colorful beetle looks like. I just finished adding color to my amazing symmetrical beetle. After you add color to the head, the thorax, and all of the abdomen using a few different colors of your choice and mixing your colors, then you are done for today. I hope you guys have a lot of fun adding color to your symmetrical beetles. I can't wait to see how they turn out. I know they're gonna be amazing because you guys are amazing. All right, I'll see you guys next time. Bye guys.